properly, I put in these extensions in my hair and I think that they look just divine. I hope that you like them too. See, I'm gonna tell you about this story about a lady named Mary. Now we've seen Mary lots in the Bible, not Jesus' mom, but Lazarus' sister. And Mary is the one who sat at the feet of Jesus and listened to his story so much. Now, this story takes place after Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. See, Jesus was visiting Mary and Martha and Lazarus at their home again, and they were having supper together, and there were a whole bunch of people there. And what happened was that as Jesus was talking to Lazarus, Mary came with an expensive bottle of perfume. See, I have a bottle right here. Now, what she did was she poured that perfume all over Jesus' feet. And then she started weeping and crying and she used her hair, hence the extensions, to wipe all the perfume all over Jesus' feet. And the whole house was filled with the scent of this expensive perfume. Now, Judas, who was going to betray Jesus, he got very, very angry. And he said, that expensive perfume could have been sold and we could have used that money to give to the poor. Now, Judas really didn't care about the poor, but he was just mad that Mary was doing such a kind thing for Jesus. And so Jesus turned to Judas and he said, what she has done for me is a kindness and it is preparing for my burial. Do not be mad with her. The poor will always be among you and you must help them. But this is something different. And so Mary continued to wipe Jesus' feet. And the reason she was crying is because she knew how much Jesus had forgiven of her sins. And so she was doing this out of thankfulness. But my Sunday school teacher also said that this was extravagant. Now, that was a big word for me, and I don't know what it really means, except my teacher said, it's when we do better than our best. When we go beyond what our best could be. And so Mary was worshiping Jesus extravagantly, or better than her best. And my teacher said, we need to worship Jesus in that way, with extravagance, with abandon, with better than our best. And I was confused because pouring perfume doesn't seem like worship. But my teacher said anything we do that shows our adoration for Jesus is worship. So when the perfume was poured, that's worship. When we do singing, that's worship. When we go to a grocery store and treat the people around us with extreme kindness because we know how much Jesus loves them, that's worship. So this week, we are going to try to worship extravagantly. I'd love to hear stories about how you do better than your best for Jesus. Bye-bye.